Hi Gemini, welcome to your mid-April 2020 general love reading. This is your girl, Mermaid Scales Tarot. Gemini, you may notice the brand new Golden Scales. Yeah, I'm celebrating my one year anniversary of creating the channel, which is going to be April 20th. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much. I really wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. Thank you for your love, your support, your positive engagement with the channel. I read all your comments. I try to respond to your messages as soon as I can um, in your emails. Guys, you've inspired me to even expand my readings to start doing general weekly readings, monthly spiritual readings. Um, if there's anything you want me to read on or explore, like different types of readings, please feel free to leave a comment box or a comment for a suggestion. I'd be definitely interested in looking to see what more I can do for you guys because it's a blessing to provide these readings for you guys. Thank you so much. Also, Gemini, I am selling my hand-picked crystal sets and my handmade zodiac candles. I intuitively choose every crystal that goes in each crystal set. That I believe every purchaser will resonate with as well as I hand make every candle that I sell on my online shop and I intuitively choose the scents and the colors I believe every zodiac sign will love. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love please feel free to go ahead and check out my online shop mermaidscaleshop.com where you can find in the description box. All right Gemini let's get to business. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Stellium, and or any other placement you see fit for the sign of Gemini. This will not resonate with every Gemini that listens to this message. Messages are said for those who need to hear them, and that's how my intuition and my guides prioritize the messages I provide during this reading. So if this reading isn't for you, Gemini, I suggest checking your other signs and different placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Also, Gemini, it's important to know that not every message in this reading will be for you, and that's completely fine. Please leave what doesn't resonate for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, cross watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Gemini. Who wouldn't be? I do have to say, cross watchers and Gemini, that I am picking up on both energies here, and energy is fluid. So it may be that you feel like I'm describing a certain situation where the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely fine. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, should you feel like that resonates with your situation the most. But because this is a Gemini reading, I will make Gemini the main subject of the reading. Finally, we all have divine masculine and feminine energies within each and every one of us. If at all during this reading you hear me say the words masculine or feminine, Please know I'm referring to the energies, not the gender or the sex. If anything is gender or sex specific, I will let you know. Alright Gemini, let's get started. All right, so Gemini, this is going to be about spread, about whoever you're romantically or energetically connected to at this time, what they think about you, how they feel about you, what they like about you, what they don't like about you, what their highest hopes and deepest fears are in regards to this connection is, and what they like about the connection, and what they don't like about the connection. Whew, okay Gemini, so off top we have Eight of Wands in Reverse. They feel like things aren't really going anywhere with you or that you could be at a separation at a long distance and that's kind of what's preventing this from really flourishing or growing. I almost feel like there's a halt in something. But what they think about you, they have a lot of feelings for you. So Gemini, I do feel, and again, the roles can be flipped and reversed. I do feel like it's as if you had to put a stop to something. And I feel like there was just no reason in keeping it going. Maybe you felt like they weren't giving enough. Maybe you felt like there wasn't enough, period. But they think of you in the King of Cups um, type of energy. So they have a lot, a lot of feelings for you. They romanticize about you, fantasize about you. And I just heard, I know I'm not going to meet anyone 
quite like you. So I'm kind of, I'm feeling that as like Aquarius vibes. Maybe you're connected with Aquarius. But I'm also picking up on Sagittarius vibes. Ooh, and someone thinks you're fine as hell. That you're a whole snack, Gemini. Ooh, with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, and regardless if you're a male or a female, you're very attractive and you're very sexy. And look what we have there, the star Aquarius energy. What they don't like about you. And what I was feeling about that, yeah, Gemini, they know they're not going to come across anyone like you again. I almost feel like they think they missed out a whole chance on you. And they're really kicking themselves for it. That's, wow. Okay. <laughs> they want a new beginning too. For those of you where this has ended, you put a stop to it. Maybe you guys stop talking. Whew, the lovers. Some of you could be dealing with another Gemini. Or someone that has Gemini in their chart. They caught feelings, Gemini. Ooh, they caught feelings. And yeah, there's that new beginning with the fool. Oh, they want another chance. And if it's not another chance, it's a start. They, I feel like this person has been trying to pursue you for a while or trying to get back in your good graces again, whatever that means for you, but that's how I heard it from spirit. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's get this going. We have the two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Earth energy, specifically Capricorn, could be Taurus or Virgo energy. Could be in your chart, you could be involved with one of those signs. Oh, Gemini, someone is struggling here. What to do about this, what to do with you. I mean, they're, they're I don't know, and I can also feel like this is your energy in a way, because I do feel like around mid-April, if they haven't already, someone is going to reach out to you. Someone's going to ask you how you're doing, how you've been doing in quarantine, what you've been doing. Almost, I, weirdly enough, I get this feeling that someone's going to ask how your family's been doing too. I don't know if they've met your family or know your family pretty well. But that's for some of you, not all. And for some of you, you're not going to know what to do with this. Like, you really thought, like, you know, this thing's ended. I put a halt to it. I was done. And then here they come again, and you're like, what? And for those of you that were this person put a halt in it, maybe they were the ones that stopped communication. Like with the Eight of Wands in reverse, someone completely stopped communicating. It could have even been borderline ghosting or it could have just been like out of the blue, not there anymore, right? And so it's like they don't know what you, how you're going to react should they reach out to you again or what to do about the situation. Like, okay... I'm feeling Gemini, but do they feel me? I almost feel like Gemini, for some of you, if this person comes back, you're going to have a whole lot of shit to say to them. Period. Um, but I really just get someone doesn't know what to do. And how I'm feeling about that is someone knows that they screwed up an opportunity with you, right? Or like they got on someone's shit list. I don't know who, if that's you, Gemini, or someone else. But someone's on a shit list here. But again, they can't find someone like you. I feel like they've tried to date other people. They've tried to be, um, you know, tried to forget about you. Tried to move on with other people. And there hasn't been anyone like you. So now what do I do? And you know what? With the King of Cups, Water Energy, specifically Scorpio, could also be Cancer or Pisces. With the Lover's card, Gemini energy, but for me as a reader, it could also be Taurus energy. They didn't think it was going to turn into love. They didn't think it was going to turn into feelings. They caught feelings they didn't want to catch, is what I'm getting from here. And now they're struggling with, how should I proceed? What should I do? And I feel like almost as if with its pentacles, it's like, how do I approach the situation with Gemini? How do I how do I show them that this is something to give a shot? I don't know if you guys are going to be convinced. They don't know what the hell to do. They don't know what to do and as they don't know what to do, you're busy spending your life experiencing your life. I feel like some of you were kind of hurt that this ended or that this didn't work out the way you wanted it to. 
But Gemini, I gotta say, trust that they're hurting more than you are. And let's get this going. How they feel about you is the Eight of Wands in reverse. Fire energy, Sagittarius specifically, could also be Aries or Leo energy. They feel like, despite their wants to connect with you or get back with you, I feel like they know it's going to be a door slammed in their face. I don't know what they did, Gemini. I mean, it's, this is a general love reading, so I can't really pinpoint it for a lot of you. But it's something enough to where the Eight of Wands is in reverse. Like, Eight of Wands is like fast movement, fast communication, things excelling, things progressing. When it's in reverse, that's like a complete halt. That's a pause. That's a stop. I kind of want to, let's clarify this, because what the heck happened here? Also, with the Eight of Wands in reverse, maybe they don't think things will work out if you guys are at a distance from each other, long distance. Maybe that's why someone put an end to things, because they didn't think it was going to work out. And especially with this quarantine, this shelter in place going on, like you guys may not see each other for months. But let's get this. Like, why is the Eight of Wands in reverse for how they feel about Gemini? Five of Wands. Ooh, there's a fight. There's a fight for some of you. Something have to involve with other people for some of you guys. Let's keep on getting another card here. Fire energy again. Some of you are definitely dealing with a fire sign or you have fire in your chart. Ooh, the lovers. Someone was just holding back. Someone didn't want to be real about how they felt about you. We also have justice at the bottom of the deck. Libra energy could be in your chart. You could be involved with the Libra, connected to a Libra. Someone wasn't willing to be real with you, Gemini. Someone wasn't willing to be real with themselves. There's also with the Five of Wands, it could be inner conflict, right? Maybe there's other people involved. Other people, I feel jealousy, Gemini. Like people were jealous of you. Or jealous of this connection that you had with someone like maybe someone's ex or someone else who was interested in this person or whatever that tried to get involved and tried to put their two cents where it didn't belong and unfortunately it kind of exploded for some of you others of you this is their inner turmoil because gemini they felt a strong love and connection and bond with you i mean you made them again they met someone that they're not going to meet again that makes them feel this way i almost feel like you guys maybe met abroad or like on a vacation and if that's not the case maybe like a party or an outing maybe you guys have been swimming together too i, I don't know but yeah they they weren't willing to be real with themselves about how they felt about you, Gemini, and they were holding all that in for their own security, for their own stability, or at least that's what they thought at the time, right? Capricorn energy could also be Virgo or Taurus energy here too. They weren't w willing to be real with you about how they felt about what you meant to them. And again, like for a lot of you or a few of you, there's other people that were involved that were trying to get in the way of this too. I don't know who that is in your specific situation, if that resonates at all. I don't know. I'm also looking at this Four of Pentacles and I'm feeling like there was a secret too that was found out that kind of ruined this connection with you, Gemini. That caused a huge fight, that caused a huge scene. Again, it could be a third party situation, but... I honestly feel like for most of you, they didn't want to be real about how they felt about you. And that was coming from a place of ego. Huge ego. But that was a screw up because they're really kicking themselves over that. Because what they think about you, Gemini, is the King of Cups. Water energy. Scorpio specifically. Could also be Cancer or Pisces energy. They got a lot of feelings they can't get out of their mind. And with the King of Cups, there's someone who's very dreamy, very idealistic, very romantic, very charming. 
but with that energy, I almost feel like it's as if they fantasize about being with you again, about reaching out to you again, and you just like welcoming them back with open arms as if shit didn't go down. They got, they're finally tapping into all the feelings that they refused to do with when they were with you. Like again, I just, I can't help but still feel like they really didn't expect this. They really didn't expect to fall for you as hard as they fell for you. I'm also like seeing a fountain. Um, so I don't know if you guys live by a fountain, they live by a fountain. Um, maybe there's one in your backyard, front yard, but with that symbolic, um, symbolism, spiritually, it's like you were that, you were all that potential of that healing, of that giving, of that love, that now you're away, they want to like start sinking into, that they want to tune into. I'm also getting with this with the King of Cups. It's like they're now they want to reach out. Again, it's like they do, but a huge part of them is holding back and is still conflicted about if I should express how I feel because I think they really feel like you're going to reject them. I'm also hearing something of a scarf, like a knitted scarf. But I'm also hearing like head scarf too. I don't know if you wear one, they wear one. I don't know. What they like the most about you, the Queen of Wands, Aries energy, could also be Sagittarius or Leo energy. Gemini, you are incredibly irresistible. Whether you know it or not, you got this sex appeal that just oozes from you. I mean, I feel like whether you notice it or not, you walk in a room, all eyes are on you. You are just, you know how to turn them on. And I think it's like, I also feel like there's something about your eyes or even your eyebrows, but something the way you look at them when you know it, like you want to go into the next room and try some things out, like that's what really turns them on. It's the way your eyes are for some of you. I also feel like some of you guys have your, like succulent plants in your yard or like you're growing some herbs or something like that. Um, don't know why I'm picking up on that. Maybe they are. It's just like the small things you do, Gemini, that is completely irresistible. The way you say things. The small things like how you lean in when someone's talking to you or like how you like flip your hair or move your hair behind your ear or just like you got game you got game 100 percent you're very charming you're very sexy you're very mysterious and alluring and that's something they can't resist and they get jealous of you and they get jealous of others being around you because they know that everyone wants a piece of you. Like straight up, I'm getting that vibe 100% with this Queen of Wands. Despite just physicality of it, you're confident, or at least you project that you're confident. You go for what you want. You say what you want. You do what you want. You're your own boss. And they find that completely sexy. You like to experience new things. You try things, new things out in bed. I get you're the bit of the dominant type in bed, all right? I don't know. The roles could be reversed, but you take control in the bedroom. And there's something about your bedroom, too, that's really sexy. Like, whether you have, like, a king-size bed or really sexy bed sheets or, like, I'm seeing, like, a faux fur rug or faux fur pillows or something like that. Like something about your bedroom is very sexy. I don't know, but that's for someone out there. You're incredibly sexy. And what they don't like about you is the star. So this is Aquarius energy. You could have Aquarius somewhere in your chart. Um, couple things from this. 
So yeah, they know they're not going to find anyone like you, period. The star is someone who is unique, gifted, um, incredibly rare, incredibly rare. You shine, you sparkle, you're a star. I mean, not just in the sense of how unique you are, but like you catch everyone's attention. When you talk, people listen. When you walk in the room again, people have eyes on you. I feel like some of you guys are blushing right now. I'm not trying to gas you up or anything, but this is how they feel and see you, and I'm sure a lot of people do. Something too about like body glitter. Maybe they wear it, you wear it, I don't know. Or like glittery eyeshadow or something like that. Or maybe you just like sparkles, I don't know. You shine. You naturally shine. And for others of you, like this is the part of the reason why they don't like you. I was sensing that jealousy. Some of them were jealous when you took the spotlight. Or like you guys would go out and everyone's like, oh my god, Gemini is so fun. I love Gemini. Like, bring Gemini next time. And you're like, they kind of thought like, well, you're my friend. Why is it always about Gemini? Like for some of you, it was really like that. It was really like that. Or it was like, you know, because you're so magnetic, because you're so attractive and alluring and people just are drawn to you, they kind of felt left out or left in the back seat. Like everyone loves to be around you. Everyone loves to, you know, talk about you and be like, oh, I love Gemini. She, they're a keeper. He's a keeper. She's a keeper. But then none of the attention were on them. Like, I swear, whatever that situation is, whether they know they're never going to meet someone like you and that's the part they don't like or they were really jealous of you and other people too. I don't know if you guys modeled before or you could be a model. People asked if you were a model. Um, that's not for any everyone. What they like about the connection, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I mean, not only were, were you're like personally, you're so unique, physically, you're hot as hell, but the passion was just on point. I mean, you make them feel like butterflies in the stomach, tingles all over. Um, I don't know, there's someone that has like chest hair that's like they find very sexy, whether that's the person you're connected with or you. They kind of like to pull on it, <laughs> or maybe pull on your hair, bite your lip. Like the sex was incredible with you. And then just with the Ace of Wands, like just that fire, that passion, like they only have it really for you. You're the only one that can turn them on like that. And I felt like you guys kind of met and like, Instantly, there was like a sexual attraction for one another, like that was undeniable. But yeah, I mean, they want a new beginning or they want to reach out to you again or start something again with you. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't, I'm hearing split a bottle. I don't know if you guys have split a bottle before, like a bottle of champagne, a bottle of vodka, alcohol. Um, type of thing. You guys had like amazing drunk sex, but if you just drink Shirley Temples or Coke, obviously that's not for you. <sighs> yeah, they have a lot of attraction, and this is the thing. What they don't like, Gemini, is the lovers. And different from what I usually feel about the lovers, where it's like a choice, definitely could be the case. They did not think it was going to turn into this. And this isn't the first time I've had this energy with you. I feel like a few readings back I've had similar energies to you where like someone really didn't think they were going to catch the feelings with you that they did. And boom, it happened. Okay, yeah, I just went from like, you know, flirting with Gemini, casually, you know, hanging out with Gemini, but a strong sexual attraction there. Maybe only thinking that it was just going to be like a friend with benefits or just like a casual hookup, but then all of a sudden, boom feelings got involved and that's why they repelled that's why they pulled back that's why especially if they were the ones to stop doing it gemini that's why because they were starting to have feelings for you that they weren't ready for their seat was not buckled okay like they were not ready for that maybe they usually don't like buckle their seat in 
maybe they're just kind of risky I'm getting risky and you know what they just thought that this was just going to be fun one and done and then it turned out to be so much more and others of you were maybe you were the ones that pulled back you were the ones that stopped everything it was because you knew that there was so much more that they weren't willing to admit and honestly Gemini it wasn't just not willing to admit to you it was willing not to admit to themselves more importantly because if you can't admit something to yourself there is not something that anyone can tell you if you don't recognize it, right? And also, Gemini, like, I feel like both of you are, like, attractive people. You more so. Again, it could be vice versa or whatever. But, like, they got jealous by the fact, too, that you were the one that could draw that attention. And maybe, like, if you guys were to split up, you could find someone else like that. <laughs> whether you know it or not um and they would just thought they could do the same but again they couldn't find someone like you I, I just, spirit keeps on reiterating that to me because i feel like that's what keeps cycling in their head that's what's that continuous two of pentacles like why can't i stop thinking about this it's because i never did a damn thing when i had the opportunity to be with the person i felt deep for that's real wow Their highest hopes is the full card. A brand new beginning, a whole new chapter. Let's let's just let, let's leave the past in the past. Let bygones be bygones. Let's just start this new with an excitement and passion, but just kind of a bit of really hoping things will be swept under the rug, right? This is Aries energy, Aquarius energy. They could have a dog or a cat, maybe you do. Maybe someone was like allergic to their pet or your pet and that's also kind of what was annoying about the connection. I don't know. But they want a whole new beginning. They want a whole new beginning with you. Because, yeah, they're, they just, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop wanting to be with you and they are going to reach out. I feel very strongly they will. Or at least if they haven't already. Something about the morning time too. Maybe they'll reach out to you in the morning. Like when they wake up, they're going to roll over, get their phone. They're like, all right, I got to do this. Let me reach out to Gemini type of thing. I'm hearing makeup sex too. They want makeup sex, <laughs> period. But yeah, just a whole new beginning, a whole new chapter. But what they, their deepest fear is King of Pentacles. So some of you could be Taurus, Gemini, Cuspers have Taurus in your chart. You could also have Capricorn or Virgo in your chart. You could be involved with one of those signs. Um, so what I'm feeling from this is you're invested somewhere else. You're doing your own thing. Maybe you're even with it, someone else. Maybe you've moved on to an earth sign or someone who's stable, loyal, dependable, honest, that this person never was. And maybe so that's part of where the jealousy is coming in too, Gemini. Also, I mean, sorry, sometimes I, um, you know, I'm Claire audience, so sometimes I hear these things where I'm just saying it. Something about yoga, maybe you, you met someone in yoga or you do yoga yourself, maybe this person does. Don't, yoga was coming out pretty strongly. Um, but you're invested in something else. You're doing something else that's so much better for you, so much more prosperous. Again, this is their fear, right? Not what's necessarily true or anything. But you're just going to do you and you're happy making your own progress or even moving on with someone else that's so much more stable. But also what I'm feeling from this Gemini is that what they fear from this is that they're going to have to step up, up to a plate and be get, um, willing to give more than what they want to. Being honest, being sincere, being genuine, being dependable, being reliable. Like, yeah, I'm just getting kind of a... immature undeniable type of energy of someone who doesn't want to give their it's like someone who wants their cake and wants to eat it too but that's not how the world works kind of want to clarify the king of pentacles 
Why is the King of Pentacles here for their deepest fears with this connection with Gemini? The world. It's a wrap. <laughs> I've been saying that a lot with the world card. But it's a wrap because you're you're doing something new for yourself. You're going to actually invest in something that is reliable, that is stable, that is so much more fulfilling. And that, yeah, you're kind of one and done. What they thought was one and done, you're one and done. It's a closed chapter. And maybe you've closed a chapter with someone who is more reliable, more stable. Or maybe you're even thinking on focusing on your career, on yourself, your self-improvement. And that's really it. And if it's also um, long distance, like, you know, this can't work because we're at a distance from each other. I, I For someone out there, that's definitely the case. Or maybe that's why some things ended here. For the likely outcome, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo, Gemini. So we're going to see the likely outcome of this situation. And I'm going to ask for some angels to come in, um, your angels or some of the archangels to come in to give some advice for you guys in regards to this connection or love and romance in general. But before we go, I will pull a romance angels card. And I'm going to ask Spirit to further clarify this person's intentions and feelings for you. What's their feelings and intentions towards Gemini in this connection? Oh, a lot clearly. I'm going to take this one. Keep those. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Gemini, quite honestly, okay, a couple things. One thing I kind of feel like this is for you. Like, this is what that world was pointing to. Like, this was one and done. They had their chance. So maybe this is part of the time to break that cycle. Let them know you're fine, you're good. Bye, type of thing. But others of you, I feel like it's like them wanting to free themselves of their own immaturity with the children card. Like, this person was immature. This person was in denial. For a few of you, maybe children are affected. Maybe they have children, you have children. Maybe you guys have children together and that's what kind of keeps this going in a way. Um, but what I'm really feeling like is it's a struggle for them, especially with the Two of Pentacles, to kind of break free of this whole, what do I do? How do I do it? I'm gonna, should I hold back or should I go? I feel like they're about to free themselves and they're gonna go after you, Gemini. But the, you know, the ball's in your court of what you wanna do with that. But really, I gotta be honest. I kind of feel like Spirit's message to you is kind of free yourself of this, but it could also be that this person's finally going to break through, uh, free of their own mental prison of not being able to stop thinking about you and then finally start to reach out to you. But we'll go ahead and see what the likely outcome of this is in the extended reading. Thank you so much for joining me, Gemini. Oh, by the way, with the unicorn, yeah, you're that unicorn. You're the person that they found that, yeah, is unique. Sorry, just had to say that. Spirit guided me to say that. But we're going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, you can feel free to check out the description box where you'll find the link to Vimeo. If this is where we depart, Gemini, I really hope this resonated with you. If it did, please let me know. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Again, I'm selling my hand-picked crystal sets and handmade zodiac candles. If you'd like to support the channel and purchase one for yourself or someone that you love, please go ahead and check out my online shop, mermaidsgillshop.com. I love you, Gemini, very much, and I always got your back. I'll see you next time. Take care, Gemini.